Hello everyone, welcome to It's Crochet O'Clock. This is Stephanie and this is video two of our series, Learn to Crochet Basic Stitches. If you didn't watch the first video, the reason that we are doing this series is because most crochet stitches that look like they're complicated, they can all be broken down and they're all a combination of these basic fabulous five crochet stitches. In our first video, we worked a chain, and now in our second video, we are going to work a single crochet. Whenever you're reading patterns, a single crochet is represented by the letters S, C. So we worked a chain of 21, and if you haven't done that, you can pause the video and work a chain, 21 stitches. To begin the single crochet, we have this one stitch right here we are going to want to work into the second stitch from here. So we won't work here. We're going to work here. And you just insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through. I always find that working off the basic um, foundation is the hardest part because it wants to spin all over the place and I drop it and all of that good stuff so don't get frustrated if you have problems with it because lots of people do have problems with it. So insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, you'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both of them. So let's insert into the next, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both. Let's continue, insert, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, Yarn over, pull through both. Let's insert, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both. I find that if I place a finger behind the stitch that I am wanting to insert, sometimes it goes easier for me. You can try that. I don't know if it will work for you. We all crochet differently, but whatever works best for you, you'll figure it out. We're just going to work single crochets all the way down. So insert, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over, Pull through both. Insert, yarn over. Everything is spinning, that's normal. I think we're about at the halfway point. I need some more yarn. Whenever you're working your chains, you want them all uniform, you want them all to stay, you know, the same size, but you also want to make sure that they're not too tight. I always have a problem with that, and if you can see I'm struggling a little bit, because I crochet very, very tightly. 
so it's always it's always something that I have to concentrate on and sometimes I don't always do a great job of that getting close to the end Pull this up so I don't lose my work. So there we should have 20 single crochet stitches. So let's count them. There's one because this this last chain counts as one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. So that's 20 single crochets. And we're going to do one more row of single crochets. I'm going to show you how to start the next row. You're going to turn your work. So whenever you're reading patterns, it will say flip your work or turn your work. And all that means is simply turning your work the other way. If you're left-handed, you'll be crocheting left to right. And if you're right-handed, you always crochet right to left. So because I'm right-handed and I crochet right-handed, I've reached the end and I need to go back the other way. So I'm just going to turn my work this way. And we are going to chain one. Now to start going back across, you will want to try to go into this first stitch right here, but we chained one. So this chain one counts as a single crochet, and this is its home. This is where it lives. It counts for this space right here. So we're going to work in the second space. So you just insert your hook like before, yarn over, pull up two loops on the hook, pull through both of them. That's a single crochet. Yarn over, pull up. We're just going to work it all the way back across and I'll show you how to finish because we had a chain in the beginning of this one as well. And whenever you're working this, you want to pay attention and you want to get both, both of these pieces of yarn. You're going to want them both on top of your hook. Not one, but both. Whenever you're working patterns, sometimes a, a pattern will call for a um, front loop or a back loop. And what that means is you'll be separating these two and you'll either be working in the back loop or in the front loop. But for standard stitches, the basic stitches, you'd work with both of them. Should be about halfway. We're getting there. Hopefully you guys are getting the hang of single crochets. Almost. And 
don't worry if you're not as close to the end as I am. You can always pause the video. This is not a race. You want to make sure that your stitches are consistent versus how quickly you're putting them out. All right, so let's stop for a second and count our stitches. Let's go all the way back to the back. This is our turning chain. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then this is nineteen. And it gets kind of confusing because it looks like you're finished, but you're really not because you have to go into the top of this right here because this was our chain when we first started. And it's going to be tricky and it's going to give you issues, but you can work it. Just work a single crochet in that last chain spot and then that gives us the end. So that's two rows of single crochet. Next we will move into double crochets. Thank you for watching.